when I first finished, ooh, oh, still recording. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> school when I was 16. I left school with no qualifications, no GCSEs. My GCSEs literally read fees all down the AQA qualifications that they hand you in on your last day of year 11. After that, I then went to college to do a level one, level one health and social care course at Lambeth College. And from then on, I was able to finish with a strong level three qualification in which I got a triple distinction by the time that I left. I then went on to university and university, believe me, wasn't an easy road at all. To even get to my third year was a testament within itself, but thank God I managed to get there. You know, I endured many, many different setbacks um, because of my ability. I often doubted myself a lot, especially because I left school with no GCSEs. So the fact that we had a lot of assessments and a lot of different things that um, I believe really provoked um, my potential, or should I say the potential that I thought I never had, um, I often felt like, you know, I just wasn't good enough. Being in care allowed me to have a lot of setbacks within university because oftentimes I didn't actually believe in myself. Um, and a lot of people around me didn't believe in myself, you know, none of my biological family um, were fortunate enough to go to university. So for me, going to university was actually breaking a generational curse, you know, to um, provoke a change um, for my future kids um, and to carry on that cycle from there on. I encountered a lot of different setbacks because I felt like my social workers and those professionals around me didn't actually believe in me. Also previous foster parents I felt like didn't believe me, um, believe in me should I say, but um, thank God the foster care that I was now placed with now um, had that belief in me and had that momentum to actually see me through. So that really played a part in my educational growth and I'm so happy um, to be here now. I think the 25% of care leavers that don't actually go to university and leave school with no qualifications have actually been failed by the local authorities. Now the reason why I actually do believe that is because there's no sort of um, connection with that young person to actually say, you know, you can do it, believe in yourself, you have every ability to achieve your dreams. You know, I don't believe there's no empowerment work with that young people to actually allow them to believe into, in their fullest potential that they are absolutely capable of. So I believe that there needs to be more empowerment and more force you know to drive young people to education because I believe young people especially young people in care are the most powerful young people that there is and I believe that we can make it but we just need those adults those professionals those people like you guys um, to actually believe in us and allow us to get to that next level I can proudly stand here and say that I've graduated with a strong 2-1 in youth studies